Welcome traders. In this video, I'm going to step you through how to add a new trade to your Trading Vault journal. The first thing you'll notice is no matter where you are in the app, the bottom right hand corner, you're going to find the add new trade button. So no matter what you're doing, if you quickly take a trade, you can just press this and jump straight into adding your new trade. So starting off with, you can select your account in the top right hand corner. You can then type in your instrument. So you can either click the button and you'll find a list of all your previously uh, trades you've taken, or you can simply start typing and you'll see it will filter down the list and then you can just press tab to select. I can then change the direction of set my trade in and I can also enter my entry time and date. So let's, for the purpose of this demo, we pretend we take the trade on the 3rd of April uh, 2 p.m. we'll do for this and we'll press select and we can come down here and select our strategy. Now we've got two different buttons we can press. Save and continue will immediately jump into the trade detail screen so you can continue entering your trade. However, if you want to go back to what you were doing, you can simply press save and close and we can go back to wherever you were in the app. So if I want to now find my open trade, I just have to go over here and jump back into my dashboard. And your dashboard is going to have an open trades widget, which will list all your currently open trades. So from here, I can select our dollar Swiss trade and it will now jump into the full trade detail screen so we can continue in, um, putting our trade in. So the first thing you'll notice is up the top, we've got a whole bunch of buttons um, which you can set to change the details. So if you want to change the instrument, you can simply continue typing on the end of that. I can change my direction change the strategy I've taken, and I can also change which account the trade was taken in. From here, I can come down to our open position and I can change the date and the time. So let's pretend we took this trade at 2 a.m. instead. And then from there, we can start entering this, the trade details. So we can put in, we'll pretend we've taken 1,000 of these. Our entry price was 0 0.98060 and our stop price. You can see once we've typed those in straight away, Trading Vault will display the number of pips your stop is, and we'll get the same thing when we type in our target. 30 pips as well. Okay, and then on the far right hand side, you can also now see your target reward risk ratio. We've also got our pipette slider on the top here. So if this particular instruments or well, some instruments you trade and depending on the broker have pipeps and some do not. So if you swap this toggle over and you just watch the stop and target pips, you'll see they will change to reflect the fact that I've said there's no pipettes on this trade. So that's just an option there for you depending on what you are trading, you will need to set that to make sure we get the right calculations. From here, I can jump into our tag manager. So if you need to tag your trade with anything, so that later on when you're doing your reviews, you can come in here, you can easily filter your trades on different bits and pieces. So we'll just put a few random ones on there. Let's jump back to our trade. And you've also then got your snapshot manager. So I'll just copy a few of these in that I've taken already. Now in this screen, we've set you up with uh, four default options. So you've got your lower time frame and your high time frame entries and exit. Okay, it's very, very important that whenever you take a trade, you do take as many snapshots as you can with as much detail as possible in those snapshots. So it makes it a lot easier to come back and do your, your reviews later on. You also got the option to add additional snapshots. Now you can put in as many as you like. You can give those snapshots a name and drop in your URLs just here. So if you press save, we'll commit those and you'll see those screenshots now show up straight away on your trade. From here, over the snapshots, you can press these buttons, these little arrows on the side to jump through each screenshot. So you can get a view of them and you can come down here and you'll find all your thumbnails and clicking any of these will open that snapshot up as a full screen image. So this is really handy so you can zoom in and have a look. So you've got a few different buttons down the bottom here that you can press. So you can zoom in on the trade and really see what you're doing. And you can also just flick through these as well.
Okay, let's now enter the exit data for our trade. So the first thing I want you to notice is the trade is currently listed as open. So once we enter our close date and time, let's just leave it at 320, the trade now becomes closed. We can enter our close size. Let's say this hit our target. And therefore we can see we've made our 30 pips profit and we made our 1.5 reward risk. We then enter our gross. So let's just say we made $1,000. And with that data, Trading Vault is now able to calculate our uh, dollar risk per pip. And then as all trades, we've got commissions. And if you got rolls and dividends, you can also add those in. I want you to, what I want you to notice now is our reward risk is now only 1.42. So once you start to type it in uh, your commissions, Trading Vault uses your net profit to calculate your reward risk ratio rather than your pips. This is just more accurate way to reflect everything that's involved in the trade as all trades will have expenses that go with them. Trading Vault also has a rich text editor for recording your trading summaries. This is very useful to write down your analysis at the time of taking the trade and when you exited it so that in the future when you're reviewing your trades you can see what you're thinking. You got all your usual formatting options across the top here including using bullets, making paragraphs and also doing different sorts of headings. If you want to keep anything separate from your summary, but still write it down to so any additional notes, there's also a separate note taking section. Using Trading Vault, you can also scale in and out of your trades. Simply pressing the scale in button will open up a new trade position. You'll notice first of all, that the trade is now marked as open. So we can now set our trade date and then start entering our details just like we did before. From here, we can come down to our close position. We can enter our close date. And then we can also enter our size amount. Now, if we enter only a partial trade, so we only closed out half the trade, Trading Vault will immediately add an extra row anticipating the next trade position. So we can exit these ones at that spot and we made $500 on that trade with our commissions. And you can see at the moment our subtotals are starting to calculate and we can then come over and add in our final close position. You can see here once again, the trade has been fully closed out and we've got our close date again. The trade has been calculated through. So we can see our net profit and our risk reward per position and per scale out with our totals at the bottom. So the trade will still count as one trade in our stats with a total of 7.7 .7 reward risk ratio and $1,930. If you need to have additional scale outs, simply clicking the open button, we can add more closed positions or we can remove the total position altogether. So there we have it guys, that is how to add a trade to Trading Vault. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below.